Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It's Wednesday, the 5th of October, 2022. Have a couple of areas here that we are still watching in the Atlantic Basin. First, 91L now down in the southern Windward Islands. 60% chance of development over the next couple of days. And uh, this is definitely bringing some squally conditions down in that part of the Southeast Caribbean. We'll take a close-up look at the satellite animation in just a moment. And then we have TD number 12 out there west of the Cabo Verde Islands. It might still strengthen into a tropical storm, but its time is limited due to generally unfavorable conditions. Pretty rare to get a tropical system to develop that far east this late in the season. Looking at the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook map, our system there in the Caribbean should track across the southern Caribbean. Could bring some squally weather to the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao, before eventually heading over towards Nicaragua and Honduras. And it could potentially strengthen more in the Western Caribbean. We'll have to watch for that. Even if it doesn't become very strong intensity-wise, pressure and wind, it still could bring a lot of rainfall to that area in Central America, and that can be a big, big problem. Looking in the Eastern Pacific, we have Tropical Storm Pain. Really not going to amount to much. It's on its way out, so to speak. So we really won't worry about it too much more. Looking at the wide shot of the Atlantic Basin this morning, there is our 91L down in the Southeast Caribbean, kind of really close to shore too down there of uh, South America as well. So that land interaction overall will hinder development. Nevertheless, it does not take a strong system to bring impacts, and this will bring a lot of heavy rain, squally conditions, occasional gusty winds, and that will track across the Southern Caribbean. And like I said, eventually that could impact Aruba and Bonaire and Curacao on its way towards Central America. It should eventually gain some latitude, meaning that it'll move a little bit more to the north, but right now it is definitely hugging the coast of Northeast South America and again, the Southern Windward Islands. Then here's TD-12 out here, definitely getting sheared right now. Nevertheless, that's pretty interesting to see something trying to get going that far east this late in the hurricane season. A close-up shot here, satellite animation of uh, 91L, and you can see lots of deep thunderstorms there near Trinidad and Tobago, those island, that island pair right there. And uh, that's going to pass through this morning, bringing the possibility of very heavy rain and mudslides and localized flooding. Uh, but this is definitely an impactful event even though it doesn't have a name except the, for the 91L that has been designated as, a, as an invest area. Looking at the vorticity signature, there's our system down there. Pretty well organized, but again, the proximity to land will inhibit rapid development. Nevertheless, as I keep saying, the rainfall is an impact, and that is already occurring. All right, looking at the GFS, the 6Z run from this morning, it's kind of hard to figure out exactly when 91L will try to consolidate as it moves across the Southern Caribbean, lots of energy down there trying to come together in the model. But the general idea is that this will track towards Central America. And in fact, if we look at the consensus aids here from the various model outputs, the consensus right here, that is generally aimed towards Central America in terms of any center that might form. And so that gives us pretty good confidence that eventually whatever does develop will head off to the West and West Northwest and uh, eventually make it over to Honduras, Nicaragua, maybe the southern parts of Belize. That's still several days away, and we have plenty of time to watch and see how things evolve. All right, all right, that is it for me for this morning. I'll be back this afternoon with a more in-depth look at everything with my hurricane outlook and discussion. Until then, have a great rest of your Wednesday. I am Mark Sutter. Thanks for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. I'll talk to you again later today.